Now, we have a lot of beliefs that are reasonable. We have a lot of evidence leads us to believe things that are reasonable. So in addition to a belief being reasonable, we have to consider all the reasonable beliefs that we have because you might say that any new belief we're going to acquire, or any belief that's reasonable for us, we probably also want it to be consistent with other things that it's reasonable for us to believe. And if we think about consistency, consistency is a virtue, but it's a virtue of sets of beliefs that we, ha that we have. That is, usually a belief by itself is not, is consistent. There are very rare cases that we'll talk about where it isn't. But we think of a set of beliefs as being consistent just in case all of the members of the set could all be true at once. And we'd say, you know, it's inconsistent if and only if the members could not be all true at once. You know, and obviously consistency and inconsistency are exact opposites. Now, when would a belief be, or when would a set of beliefs be inconsistent? Well, I mean, a clear case is if you believe that the sky is blue and you believe the sky is not blue, that set of beliefs is inconsistent. So you would never want to believe both of them. But that leads us to thinking about a concept that we're going to use in logic, namely logical possibility. And when we talk about propositions being logically possible, or beliefs being logically possible, we're, we're going to talk about beliefs being compatible or consistent. They need not be, in fact, true. In fact, there are a lot of beliefs that are actually false that be consistent if they could all be true in some possible scenario. That is, if we could descri consistently describe a situation in which they are all true. That is, one does not contradict another. And we say a proposition is logically possible if and only if it involves no contradiction. That is, a pro when I t was talking about consistency, a proposition can be itself inconsistent is if it involves a cr proposition. And we say the two propositions are contradictory if they cannot have the same truth value. That is, if one is true, the other one must be false and vice versa. So it's raining, it's not raining. Those two propositions are contradictory. They're not consistent. And the set of beliefs that would have those two beliefs, so those two propositions in it, would be an inconsistent set. So we see that a set of beliefs is consistent if and only if we say there's a logically possible world where its members could be true at once. And a set is inconsistent if and only if there is no logically possible world in which its members could all be true at once. And remember, a logical, possible, a logical possibility or a world that's logically possible doesn't mean that the things are actually true. It just means that they all could be true. That, that's what makes them logically possible. And let's look at a couple of examples to try to clarify this, okay? Consistency and inconsistency. Here is a set of propositions, a set of beliefs that would be inconsistent. All pigs are animals, but some pigs are not animals. It's logically self-contradictory. It's not logically possibility. Lo logically possible, sorry. Now that's a set that's inconsistent. Here's another one. Arnold Schwarzenegger is a doctor, and he isn't. That's logically self-contradictory, not logically possible. He can't both be a doctor and not be a doctor. Right? There's can't both be true. That's inconsistent. And here's another 
a proposition, a set of one proposition that's inconsistent. Arnold Schwarzenegger is a married bachelor. Why is that? That's a self-contradiction, right? A married bachelor is itself contradiction. Now, let me give you a set of statements that are consistent, so could describe a possible world, but, but they aren't true, but they are consistent. That is, Arnold Schwarzenegger is a medical doctor. He's not. He was the governor of California. He's an actor. You might have seen him in movies. He's not a medical doctor. And pigs fly. Well, pigs don't fly. At least in this world, they don't have wings and they don't fly. But that doesn't mean that it's not consistent to believe those things. Rather, the evidence doesn't point in that direction. And finally, when we're thinking logically about things, we want to avoid inconsistent beliefs. Those are things, if we have an inconsistent set of beliefs, that we definitely want to avoid them. And, you know, something that logical thinkers want to do is to think about their beliefs, the set of beliefs, the statements that they believe, and try to make them consistent, make make sure that they don't believe things that are inconsistent. And to the extent that they are consistent, makes them you know, good beliefs. That is a virtue of belief.